Let's draw the graph for the linear equation y equals 3x minus 1. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put in values for x here, get the corresponding values for y. Then when we have those points, we can graph them for this equation y equals 3x minus 1. We can also check our work using the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So first off, let's put some values in for x. I'd like to start with 0, because then it'll show up here. It'll fit on my graph. 3 times 0, that's 0 minus 1. So y is minus 1. Let's put a 1 in. 3 times 1, that's 3. Minus 1 gives us 2. And how about negative 1? So 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. Minus 1 is negative 4. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 3x minus 1. So let's start off with 0. x is 0 and y is minus 1 right there. So that's our first point. We have x is 1 and y is 2. So we'll go up 2. And then we have x is negative 1. Go over to the left. And y is negative 4. So go down 4. And there's our graph. And you can see we could just put a line through this. Put some arrows out here to show it goes to infinity and that's the graph for y equals 3x minus 1. I like using three points. You could use two but when you use three points if you make a mistake on one of these it'll really be obvious. So now we can check our work with the slope intercept formula y equals mx plus b. So we have the y intercept that's b. That's on the y axis here where the line's going to go through the y axis and it says negative 1. So we'll go down on the y-axis to negative 1, and that's our y-intercept. So we have that first point there. Then for the slope, we have a 3 here, but we really need to think about this as a fraction, 3 over 1. Same thing, it's still 3, but as a fraction, we can say rise over run. So now we can say we rise 1, 2, 3, and we go over 1, rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept here, rise 1, 2, 3, and we go over 1. And then we can do it again, rise 1, 2, 3. 3 and go over 1. Likewise, we could go down 1, 2, 3, and then go the opposite direction over 1. And we could do that one more time, 1, 2, 3, and all of these points, they're on the line. So we've done this part here correctly. So this is the graph for the linear equation y equals 3x minus 1. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.